Hello everybody. Um, in this video, we're going to start a new topic, which is very, very uh, important topic in MATLAB, which is the loops. Um, and uh, this is one of the very powerful tools that you need to know well as a MATLAB user because um, it's uh, it saves a lot of time and effort and does a lot of calculations uh, with very simple code. Um, so what we mean by loops is that you are repeating um, uh, an operation or set of operations a uh, specific number of times um, and in every time you are changing one parameter or more than one parameter during uh, the, the, um, the operation. Um, and um, the way you do this is uh, by, by uh, uh, one of, or, or of two methods. First it is by setting the number of times it's going to repeat the operations or by putting a specific condition um, and the, the software or the, the program will check on this condition every time it, it starts a new loop um, and uh, once the condition is not fulfilled, the loop is going to stop. Uh, so um, both are going to do the same thing, but it's important to um, know that there should be some difference in the syntax and the code uh, that's written in both ways uh, so that it, it performs the same thing. Um, in, in some cases, the first is easier. In some other cases, the second is easier. So both are available um, in case uh, you need any of them. So the um, uh, the types of loops that we use in MATLAB are called, uh, the first is the for loops. This is what we are going to talk about today. And this for loop is stating how many times you are going to do the uh, operation or repeat the operation. The for loop syntax is pretty simple. Uh, you just start by writing for and um, end it by putting end. And beside the for uh, word, you need to put the condition or, or the, the, I'm sorry, the, the number of uh, times the operation is going to be repeated. So you would say, for instance, here for x equals 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Uh, so it's going to do the loop for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times or put in a space uh, or 1 to 2 or 2 9 with a space of 2 whatever the the thing the three are going to give the same um, the same output um, so this is what you write here uh, is how many times uh, you're going to repeat the loop and what are the variables that or the value of the variable that uh, is going to change every time and this here is the operations that are going to be repeated in each time the loop is is done um, so let's see an example is, um, let's say we want to do calculate the value of k squared for k uh, from 5 to 35. Okay, so let's go to MATLAB and see what we are going to do now. So I'm going to start a new, um, a new file. Um, and, and before before starting with the loops, uh, it's important to know that it's easier to work with the loops. It's way, way easier to work with the loops in an M file. Um, as you see here, it, uh, it takes more than one line um, like this. And um, we will see in the example that we're going to solve uh, in, in a few minutes that uh, the lines might be like 5, 10, 15, 20 lines or whatever the number of lines that you're going to write. So it's not, it's not the best place to put these lines in the command window because anytime you want to change any variable or uh, uh, anything in the code, uh, if you are working in the command window, you are gonna uh, rewrite all the lines from the beginning, which is not the case if you are working in the editor or um, in an M file. So um, what we're gonna do is to write for. Um, we have here the um, statement is that we need to get the value of k part two for k equals five to thirty five. Um, so I'm going to say k equals 5 with um, spacing of 10 to 35. And it understands that you're going with a loop because it, it puts this minus uh, sign and it, uh, all the lines be, uh, beneath will be shifted to the right um, so that it tells you that it's, it's, it's uh, one piece, it's, it's working in the same place. Um, and I would say k, um, I'll let, let it be y equals k power 2. And I'm done, so I'll type end. So it's it's pretty simple. Um, I need just to um, uh, run the file, but before I run it, I want to change the place. Um, um, just a second. Um, here. For, okay, so I'll, I'll call it for 1. 
um, and uh, it's now so it's it's done you see it it gives you the values of y it's 25 225 625 12 25 which is 5 for 2 15 for 2 25 for 2 and 35 for 2 so it's it's doing what i wanted to uh, wanted to do so if i change the spacing to 5 and i run the file it's gonna go for uh, give the same outputs but with larger number of of uh, of files uh, of, of values of the k or k squared if i do it with spacing of two it's gonna give more values um so it's doing the the job uh, pretty nicely and uh, and actually it's saving a lot of time you can you can imagine um, how many times you're gonna do this by hand or if even if you're using microsoft excel you have to drag it for the number of times that you want it to uh, to be calculated uh, but the point that you need to keep in mind is that when you see the output is always the last value so you do not have um, if, if for instance I put it like this and I want to display the value of y after doing the loop it's it's only displaying the 1225 and this is this is pretty logical and you can you can actually track the the, the loop or uh, or do what MATLAB is doing uh, which is simply go for 5 and then it's 25 and then it's gonna start a new loop with 7 so it's gonna be 49 and this is gonna remove the 25 that was calculated before so every new value is removing the old value because it, it, what I'm writing here does not tell MATLAB that I won't, I'm, I'm saving the, the old value and to do this you have to do what we call the counter um, and or, or first I would say that I would put it as y of i and I have here y equals and y is called counter the counter is just a variable that I put uh, to um, create new place for the new value so when I put i equals 1 and I start the new the first loop it's y of 1 uh, and then the second loop it should be y2 so so i'm now creating a, a, a vector that is y1 y2 y3 y4 and till the end and uh, whatever the number of, of variables that i have in or, or number of loops i'm, I'm running um, but i need to get the value of, of i increasing each, each time so that's why i put i equals i um, plus one so when i do the first loop it's y1 and then i equals 2 so when it go, goes for the second loop it's y of 2 and then i equals 3 so when i go to the third loop it is y of 3 um, so I'm, I'm gonna first um, just clear everything so i have um, all the uh, the values uh, fresh for for this run and i'm gonna do the run and you see here y equals 25 49 81 and this is 1 by 16 and this is exactly what I was trying to do is to save the values of y um, that I go through each uh, each loop um, again the i is just a counter it does not contribute in the calculations it just lets me save the values of each loop and do not re uh, or, or override the values of the previous loop um, so this example is kind of a simple example and you can you can think that uh, what about doing k square i can do k square with a function handle or, or just by the simple calculations i don't want to or i don't need to spend to, to, to spend all that time writing codes and lines and all this thing and and this is actually because uh, this is just a demonstration example so I, i'll go for a new um, example which is a very nice chemical engineering application which is uh, one thing that we talked about before which is the Moody uh, diagram equation or the friction factor um, uh, This is something that every chemical engineer should know that you have the friction factor calculated uh, From this equation. It's here and here so you, you cannot separate the F at one side and then to put all the other variables on the other side you use the friction factor to calculate the losses due to friction uh, for a fluid flowing in a pipe or a tube or whatever um, and the epsilon is the uh, roughness of the surface d is the diameter and you can uh, calculate it with f sub n i think we we solved it before um, in a previous example so i what i want to do is to calculate it for epsilon over d equals 0.001 for Reynolds number from 4000 to 10 power 7 let's take a look at the Moody diagram um, so the or Moody chart so this is what we are gonna do is to calculate it 4.001 which is this line 
um, here and we need to see how if we can use the for loop to get the values from the equation that are here on the chart um, and to do this let's um, I'll just uh, put this uh, here uh, so we can see the equation while we are writing the code um, and I would um, start by epsilon over d equals uh, I have here point oh oh one and um, I will start with a for loop uh, I would say for uh, Reynolds so I want it from 4000 I read it uh, this uh, as, as it is now and we will see if this is the best way to do it or not so it's gonna be 1e7 uh, this this um, way that I'm writing the code means that I'm gonna have 4000 4001 2 3 4 till 10 power 7 which is a lot of numbers it's gonna be 10 million values almost 10 million values and this is not this is not logical to do the the iterations uh, 10 million times uh, so what we can do is use um, we can use what's called the linear space but linear space is not good for a case like this when you have orders of magnitude this is four orders of magnitude uh, higher than the, the the first value so we can use what's called the log space which is the similar to the linear space it's going to be the log space the log space is um, uh, does the same thing but you you put the two values but actually you put the power of the two values um, so the 10 power 7 for instance is gonna be 7 so when I put 7 it understands that it is 10 power 7 and now I have 4000 um, so you can do log 10 of 4000 okay um, ju ju just to um, check it if you put it here it's gonna be 3.6 which is which is the uh, the the one thousand log of one thousand is three so four thousand is gonna be between three and four so it's 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 gonna kind of expect a thing um, and you can put the number of points that you wanna do I will put like thirty points it's up to you um, and then we put the equation as a function handle so I put it as f at uh, f which is one over square root of f um, plus 2 multiplied by log 10 of epsilon over d divided by 3.7 plus 2.51 divided by Reynolds number um, divided by square root of f and the equation is ready now um, just want to make sure that I have everything right now um, I don't have any more uh, brackets here uh, no I need this okay so the equation is, is done now and what I'm gonna do is to use F solve so what I'm, I'm calculating is F which is F solve the F uh, we, ca we can get the initial value from the diagram I know that the the F is is ranges between 0 0.008 and 0 0.1 so I can put 0 0.03 as uh, an average value um, for for the friction factor um, and I can I can do what we learned before is to put options equals optim set um, display um, none um, because I don't want to see the the uh, the output of the iterations of each each run, it's it's not gonna be something that I'm I'm very interested in. Um, and then options, um, and we we'll put in. But here uh, I still I, I'll have the same problem before that I saw before that I'm not saving the value, so I need to put the counter here. Uh, it, it 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 doesn't have to be always I. I I just put I because it's the what I'm used to so it's gonna be you can put it a b c whatever the symbol that you feel uh, more uh, happy with um, so it's gonna be i equals i plus one and then display um, f I, I'll put one more thing here um, is that I will put n equals 30 and put this as n um, and I'll tell you in a few minutes why so uh, I'm, I'm gonna run the file I'll call it friction factor um, and you see it's uh, it's done it's it says it's 0.049 it starts with 0.049 which is 4000 
uh, which is here 0 0.04 it's around 0 0.04 this is 0 0.01 yeah it's also almost 0 0.049 again yeah, the value is to, uh, it makes sense and then the last value is 0 0.0197 which is this it um, oh no um, it's 0 0.001 yeah yeah it's, it's gonna be 0 0.019 yeah so so it, it makes makes a lot of sense um, so now let's say I want to plot this uh, relation between f and Reynolds number. So what I'm going to plot is, do is plot f, um, oh, it's Reynolds number on the x-axis, f on the y-axis, and make it blue um, or make it red uh, solid. Um, and this should do it. Uh, but actually when you do the run, um, it's not going to plot anything and this is because the value of Reynolds number here is just the last value it's it's the same uh, the same thing you have here two options first is to um, you, you can you can do this like take this as uh, as it is here and then put it here and when you do the run uh, it's it's gonna uh, plot the uh, everything but actually this is um, a, a semi-log scale so what I need to do is to make it as semi-log x and when you do the run um, yeah yeah this is what you're gonna get it's it's kinda exactly um, let's uh, put it side by side so you can you can just uh, take a look the first value 0 0.049 and the last value 0 0.097 which is kind of the same thing that you see here it's just because it's it's kind of um, um, squeezed here on the on the moody diagram than what is here but it's it's the same values um, and the other way you can do this is instead of doing it here and and this is why I put it in here because if you put uh, this is 20 uh, it, it doesn't matter this value here is going to be the, this value here and the same uh, size of the F is going to be or the size of Reynolds is going to be the same size of F regardless the number of points that I use the other thing is to do exactly what you, do to, you, you did for F you can do what you can say Reynolds plot uh, of I which is going to be Reynolds number and then you created a new um, a new matrix and this is gonna be Reynolds plot and when you do the plot oh I have here something wrong um, because Reynolds plot is 20 and the friction factor is 30 um, and this shouldn't be the case because I have Reynolds plot and um, the friction factor uh, oh maybe because it's using the values from before so I need to clear close yeah I always like to do this yeah and, and now it's solved so so uh, it, it's a very very common problem when you when you do some edits to a file and run it uh, it, it sometimes uses the values that are here from the previous run um, because it adds more more values to what it was here previously uh, which which is not what you want to do. Um, so what I did here is that I remo removed everything from before, and when I did the run, it's done. And again, if if you change it to 50 points, um, I'm running the file. It's it's doing the plot, and it's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, and you need just to keep in mind that when you put this as 50, it did uh, solve the the this equation uh, 50 times. Just imagine if you're gonna do this using another software that does not support the for or, or the loops or does not provide the the option of loops like excel for instance you are going to do the solver or the goal seek 50 times uh, and it's going to be very very long process and a very very painful process and in case you want to change anything here it's going to be just by changing one letter or one number but there it's going to be uh, repeating everything everything from the very beginning so it's it's a very very powerful tool here and you can see i redrew this uh, diagram uh, with with just less than 20 lines um, so this is all for today and i'll see you in the next video inshallah goodbye